a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Julian Marston Clark and the topic of today's lesson is believing in what cannot be seen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that once more we have an opportunity to share your words. As the words are shared, may we open our hearts to receive them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So our scripture passage of focus today is Hebrews 11 from verse 20 to 28. And uh, these verses tell us about men in Bible history who had a strong faith. And we are now going to look at some of the things that these men do. What it is that they did to show their hope in the things that they cannot see. Moses is the second most important person in this chapter about faith. When he was born, his parents hid him from King Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, because Pharaoh had commanded that all Hebrew boys should be killed. But the parents of Moses, they were not afraid of the king, according to Hebrews 11, verse 23. Later, when Moses was grown up, he did not want to be called or named the son of Pharaoh's daughter. The daughter of Pharaoh, of course, is the Egyptian princess who adopted Moses. As her adopted son, Moses was chosen to be the next king of Egypt. But he chose instead to become the leader of freed slaves. We have a comparison in Hebrews 11, 24 to 27, and Hebrews 10, verse 32 to 35, about Moses and Christians. What is it about these experiences that are similar? Moses sees that God offers him a better reward than what Pharaoh offered him. Pharaoh promised Moses something he can see, riches and power on earth. God promises Moses something that he can only see by faith. So, of course, Moses chose the reward that God offers him. The reward from God is the same reward we read about in Hebrews 10, verse 35. God promises this reward to everyone who believes in him. For sure, these words about Moses touched the readers of Paul in a powerful way. The Christians suffered insults because of their faith. Evil people hurt them and took their belongings. Some of the Christians were even thrown in prison because they chose to follow Jesus. In the same way, Moses chose to join the people of God. He lost much that this life offers because of his choice. Moses exchanged the riches of Egypt for insults. And you may ask the question, why? Because he believed that the reward that God offered him was better than anything that Egypt offered him. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once more that your words have gone forth. We thank you for the examples that we have in Moses, recognizing that the gift that you give to us is better than anything else that we can get from men. Continue, Lord, to help us to be faithful and to continue studying your words, we pray. In Jesus' loving name, amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing another episode with you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.